Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In last video, we have gone through what is a universal API management and the Flex Gateway. In this video, we are going to set up a Flex Gateway on Docker Desktop. So the prerequisite for this video, you make sure like Docker Desktop is installed on your laptops or on your machines. In my case, a Docker Desktop is already installed, right? The next thing, I have to go to uh, any point platform so you can create one any point platform account where you can get 30 days of free access and you can do the some POCs and RMD on this flex gateway and then you can go to runtime manager under runtime manager you can select a sandbox so in my case I've gone to runtime manager and select sandbox then I can click on this flex gateway and simply I can click add gateway so you can create a flex gateway on like three different operating system it can be linux docker or kubernetes in my case i will go with docker so once you will go with docker so you can see a few commands uh, that can be used to set up a uh, flex gateway on your on your docker instance so i will open a command prompt so docker is already installed the first i have to download and install the flex gateway images so let me copy this command and I will paste it so it will take a few minutes uh, to to download the image so till that I will pause my video till it's you know. hello guys welcome back I can see my image has been successfully uh, installed or successfully set up on my docker container so you can see that and even you can go and on docker desktop you can see your image has been successfully installed so this is the first step we need to perform like you have to download a docker image or flex gateway docker image on your docker desktop so i have simply used the docker pool and the name of the image basically and even you can use the command docker images and dot you can see the images so yeah you can see this is the image mule shop slash flex gateway so you can see the second command like uh, we have to register the flex gateway in any point platform and the mode is connected so you can set up a flex gateway in two mode like connected mode or local mode in connected mode you can see your flex gateway on any point platform whereas in local mode you have to maintain a configuration file on your local and your gateway will be not visible on your control plane or your any point platform let me copy this command I will basically copy this command on my notepad as this is the window like pwt command will not work in the window because I am using the command prompt instead of that I can give a full path I will just remove all this less if you are using the Linux or uh, cell command prompt you don't have to do anything right so simply like I will just change this and I will give a full path a pwd so where I have to set up my flex gateway on local so let me go to uh, users I will give my user under user I have created a flex gateway folder I will copy this path okay and I will paste inst instead of dollar pwd okay then I have to register I have to give a gateway name I can say mule demo gateway so you can give any name one okay then token so uh, you don't have to do any changes here right uh, let me remove this less then connected mode true which I discussed you can have a connected mode true or false then like this is your organization ID where you want to set up a flex gateway yeah let me copy this command run click this I will copy this command and I will run so it is starting registration please be patient so it has got registered let me check uh, my flex gateway you can see uh, i just created mule demo gateway one which is in disconnected mode so you can see that so your a flex gateway got registered in your any point platform mule demo gateway one mule demo gateway one now we have to start this you know so what we will do we have a other command so you can go to that particular uh, any point platform page so where like you uh, know so you can uh, uh, run the replica of this gateway you can copy this command so run the following command to start the flex gateway and you need to replace this path and you have to replace the uid i will showcase you don't worry so let me use the second command i have to give a path basically so what path you have to give it's the same path a flex gateway path okay i will give that path i will change this path okay 
then uh, port 8081 is fine then you have to provide this UUID of your file how can you get it so basically uh, like uh, if you see when we have run this command a registered command it generated three files a uh, com file key file and pam file so you can copy this UUID just rename it and just copy this you know I will copy d0305 you know whatever this uh, this UUID I'll copy this and I will paste it instead of this okay now what I will do I will remove this less because I am using the Windows command prompt if you are using the cell or uh, cell or any Linux command prompt you should not have this problem you don't have to do anything just you have to change few parameter okay so let me copy this command copy this and run it here okay so it started registering so once you see you know so there is uh, that uh, cont yeah starting worker once you see all dependency initializing starting worker it means it has been successfully uh, registered or successfully started so can we go and check flex gateway you can see this is in the connected mode your uh, flex gateway has been successfully started with one replica if you want to add more replicas what you can do so there is a third command available in that same uh, web page so let me check where it is so you can go to again like api manager not api manager so i can go to flex gateway i can say add gateway you can get the command from here okay so you can say start if you want to create a more replicas you can do this so let me do that so you have to give again absolute path this is the path you can give uh, any port number so i can give uh, 8082 or i can give 8082 okay and like you have to give a uuid of file again so this is my uuid file you can change this right you can remove all these slashes generally if you are using the cell or uh, cell command prompt you don't have to do that let me copy this command okay let me open a new command prompt let me run this command yeah you can see the second replica has been added let me go and check on flex gateway so you can see two replicas are running and both are in the connected mode correct so now our uh, flex gateway has been successfully set up or uh, like you know on the docker container so you can see that and it has been successfully registered into any point platform in next uh, video we will see how we can like enable a flex gateway on the top of your api deployed on the docker container okay i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching